Hi, welcome back to Computer Programming. So in this video, we are going to look at the kinds of variables, the type of variables that we have learned so far. And we are also going to learn a new one, which we call pointer variables. But before we start with pointer variables, let's take a look of the ones that we have learned. The first one is what we call value semantic. So this would look like something like this, for example, int a. What this will do is just create a new object and we give a name a. So we say that this is a variable a. And why is it value semantic? Uh, because this variable can only contain value. For example, we assign a, uh, we assign 5 to a. So now, 5 would be the value of a. So this is why this is called a value semantic. The second one is reference semantic. So now, let's say we have int b. So if we write it like int b, like this, it will just create a new object again with the name b. But this won't make it any different from value semantic. So how do we make it reference semantic? What do we mean by reference semantic? Reference semantic variables are just uh, the variables that we create for an existing object. So how do we do that? We can do that by adding a symbol m percent after the data type for example int and percent b so this is saying that we want to create a variable b for an existing object for which object example object a so what this will do is okay say we have an object here object a so what this will do is creating a variable b for an existing object that already has a name A. So now A and B are two different variables that refer to the same object. As simple as that. So basically, that is what we meant by reference semantic. So now, let's say you have another statement, B equals to 7. Why? Because B can still... Uh, act as a normal variable where we can assign value and contain value as well. The, dif the only difference between reference semantic and value semantic is that reference semantic is a, diff a new name that we give to an existing object. So now when we say b equals to 7, what this will do is it's going to replace the value 5 with 7. And this will also change the value of a. Why? Because A and B, they are sharing the same object. Okay? So, in summary, a value semantic are just uh, uh, when we declare a variable as value semantic, we will create a new object for that variable. As opposed to reference semantic, we do not create a new object. But instead, we are just giving a new name. Another name, I'm sorry, not a new name, but we are giving another name, an alias to an existing object. So now this object is known as A and can also be known as B. Alright? Okay, so that's it about value semantic and reference semantic. So now we want to take a look at a new type of variable, which we call pointer variables so what is pointer variables because uh, keep in mind that in this video we just want to focus on what is pointer variable we do not want to look at why why we want to use pointer variable yet okay so what is pointer variable so for example now we have another declaration in c and if you want to say that C is a pointer variable, you have to add another symbol, asterisk or star there after the data type. So what this will do is, it will create a new object. It will create a new object 
call it C, but since C is now a pointer variable, C can only store addresses. Can only store addresses. So how do you got how do you get addresses? How do you get an address? An address is uh, so you have to specify which address that you want to take. For example, A here, the object A here in your memory must have must has an address. For example, an address of 1007. Okay? So how do we get the address of A? We can just simply put an ampersand in front of A. So this ampersand in front of A will get will give us the value of the address of A which is 1007. So now we can store 1007 to C. So now C will have 1007. Remember, keep in mind that C, a pointer variable, can only store addresses. You cannot assign, let's say, C equals to 10 because 10 is a value. Uh, sorry, because 10 is an int, because 10 is an integer. So C cannot store an integer. C can only store addresses. So how to get addresses? You have to put ampersand in front of the name of the object or in front of the variable. For example, ampersand A will give us the address of A and we can assign that to C. Um, to make things easier during tracing, during when, when you want to trace your code, we can just we can draw an arrow from C to A like that. We are saying that C is pointing to A. Why? Because C is keeping the address of A. Alright, okay. uh, but now you may confuse between the function of ampersand uh, because ampersand, when you use it during declaration, it will act as a reference semantic. It will, it will, it will give the instruction that, hey, I want to create this uh, variable as a different name for an existing object. But when you use ampersand at the right hand side of the statement of the equation statement here assignment statement here ampersand would say that hey i want to get the address of this particular variable or this particular object so that is the difference when you use it at a different side or when you use it uh, during declaration here this one will act as a reference semantic. Uh, this will act as a declaration of a reference semantic variable. But when you use it on the right hand side, this ampersand here will act as a retrieve as a way to retrieve the address of a variable or of an object. Okay. So as usual, if you still have any questions or doubts, do not hesitate to leave it in the comment section below okay so until then bye